What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to talk about something a little bit different. Hydra. Pretty well known aquarium pest and I get them pretty often because I keep going back to the fish store that has them. Bruh. But they sell the fish super cheap and they're pretty healthy. So, you know, I take my chance with them a few times. Does it suck getting Hydra? Yes, it does. I have a pretty simple solution for it. But before we get into that, I would actually like to talk about Hydra a little bit. Because I've read up on them and they're very interesting creatures. Named perfectly after a Greek mythology serpent with multiple heads and when you chop a head off, it grows back. And that's exactly what the aquarium version of Hydra does. Now Hydra is a close cousin to corals, anemones, and jellyfish. And just like the jellyfish, Hydra has these long tentacles to capture prey. Now what they have an appetite for is aquatic organisms like cyclops, daphnia, baby shrimps. It is said that they do eat smaller fish and they're able to like open their mouth and just like engulf them. So they have the foot which they secrete this sticky mess and that's how they stick on glass, plants, and any other ornaments that you have in the tank. They have an elongated body which they're able to compress and kind of turn into like a little speck of a dot if they ever feel threatened. And then of course they have the head. They have a whole bunch of tentacles sticking out which they have toxins that they use to immobilize their prey. Oh and hydras are fully capable of moving around the tank. They could just detach themselves, wiggle their way, or just go with the flow. They're also able to walk, you know, like they use their head, grab onto something, release their foot, use their head, release their foot. Hydras are asexual creatures. They're able to procreate just by themselves, just like snails. Now, if you take a hydra and you cut it in half, both halves will grow a new hydra. But the funny thing is, if you cut the hydra in half, one has a foot and the other one has a head, right? Where the foot is, the new hydra will grow a head and where the body is, it will grow a foot. And with the other half, where it just has a head, the head will grow to a foot and the part where you severed it will grow a head if you ever see a hydra, don't try to mushroom because what happens is if you mushroom into a million pieces, you're going to end up with a million hydras. Don't try to mushroom, just stay to the end of this video for a quick and simple solution, alright? Oh, and the crazy part about this, they had a science experiment, right, that went on for years. They put these hydra in the perfect, perfect condition and realized they're able to rejuvenate their cells, they're able to procreate, and they don't age. There's one scientist, he mentioned that Hydra, they could probably live up to 1400 years. That's a long time. That's insane. I wish I could live that long. Imagine we take this and turn it into anti-aging cream. If you don't want to go the chemical route, what you could do is you could introduce fish, blue garamis, the paradise fish, mollies, all of those fish will kind of take care of the hydrate issue. I personally have not tried it because the method I'm about to tell you guys is dog dewarmer. I personally use Penicure C, but any dog dewarmer works as long as the main ingredient is fenbendazole. For this method, all you need is a scale, a container so you can mix your magic potion, a syringe or a pipette so you can administer the medication. Finally, you need dog dewarmer. Now how much dose for your tank? Well, the measurement is 0.1 grams for every 10 gallon. So if you have a 10 gallon tank, all you need is 0.1 grams of the fenbendazole, aka dog dewarmer. And if you have a 40 gallon tank, it's 0.4. Simple enough. Now the next step after you do the measurement, you want to mix it with a little bit of the aquarium water. It is a bit hard to mix. You're not going to get it to completely dissolve and that's absolutely okay. So mix it the best you can and once you've done that, use the pipette or the syringe and kind of apply it to where they actually are. Now, do you really need to do that? I mean, you don't have to. You can literally just dump it into the water and it'll be fine. And the flow within the tank will help distribute the medication. But me personally, I like to dose it where they're at. Now, after you dose it, the aquarium will be a little bit cloudy and it's absolutely fine. Now, what do you do after you dose it? Well, you want to wait 24 hours before you do a water change. But before you do that water change, you want to take a peek into the tank to make sure all of the hydra is completely gone, dead, decimated. But if you still see a few hydra left in the tank, 
you could do one of two things. You could wait another 24 hours or dose again and wait another 24 hours. And after that, you should be good. So between 24 and 48 hours, your hydrate issues would be yesterday's news.